there, it's Amy with Mindful Art Studio and I'm excited to talk to you today a little bit about how co-creating with nature and specifically creating natural brushes and then creating lots of uh, really exploratory sheets from that really fires up my art process. Let's take a peek. I love how with process-oriented work, all I have to do is just focus on what I'm doing right here in the moment. Just making these marks on the page and it really does help draw me into the moment using natural materials because everything is so unexpected and I'm noticing the way this handmade brush feels in my hand, so different, so much different resistance than a normal brush. Um, it's just so satisfying and to be co-creating with nature like that. It's also about just attending to the things that you find satisfying. Like I find very satisfying just these little marks on this size page for some reason, the way it's kind of scratchy and a little bit orderly and yet totally not. And I love the tension between those two. It's just allowing yourself to tune into those things is part of what I find helps me make the best art. Let's take a look at some of the sheets that I've made. This is one that I did with a cornflower. And then there are times that uh, this drives me into mark making in a new way with pens too. So you can see I've done a series of swirls and it's really fun to start layering with these pages. And right, it, it helps me to go places I wouldn't otherwise, right? You can see I'm playing with different colors. That one is ink. A bunch of the others are made with high flow acrylics, like that um, burnt umber color. And it really is fun to play with the layering and see how things move together. Here's another sheet where it's kind of driven me to some new explorations in pen. And I really enjoy these broader strokes too. Now here, there was this was a huge exploration. I did many, many sheets like that with all those cross hatching marks. I really had a good time with that and ended up for like a whole year, I had an installation with these larger sheets hanging in my studio in the doorway. And the transparency is really fun to play with. Almost like it's snowing or something in close up. And then I played with this whole idea. It led me to play in journals and you can see how each page, right? There's a, a story happening on the left and on the right. And as I turn the pages, that story changes. There's new things to say. And this is part of what I find so fun about playing with transparent paper, like tracing paper. Uh, some people might use parchment or other more natural options. With this piece, I'm using high flow acrylics and there's white and black and gold. And I love the simplicity of that. Oh no, this one is just white and gold. I have others that are white and black and gold, but you can see how I'm still playing with those same principles. And I really think it's about letting things be simple. And when you layer simple things together, and I use this principle all the time in my art, it gets a lot more interesting. And I'm playing with sewing pages and books and these ethereal light little creations that you can hold in your hand. So I also ended up making these sculptural pieces. And again, this is not like a right or wrong kind of process. It's just to inspire some ideas for you in your art process as to where you can go with it. And I love this marriage of mark making in pen and with thread and the natural uh, mark making brushes and the marks that those have made in white and black. And 
And you can see how I've started to weave in, right? There's that paper with the corn flower. And I've woven those in with other styles of mark making, right? These marks very much influenced by that kind of loose, natural looking. And I've started to play with other ways of weaving in this idea in different ways. And then I've also uh, begun doing more sculptural pieces with paper mache and sewing with the same pages that I've created with um, natural mark making uh, brushes and just different materials. I love this little egg piece. It's so delicate and transparent and fun and a paper mache box. So I hope that that gave you some amazing ideas to play with when you find these beautiful little natural materials and treasures in my mind that you start to think about how you might play with them in your art process and let it just be as playful and open and exploratory as possible. Don't be afraid to waste paper. You will find uses for it all. And um, I hope you have a great time. Bye-bye.